Hello, and welcome to the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. In this week's jam-packed episode, I've got some news about the tariffs placed on China by the United States Biden administration, and then we'll talk about the weather. And as always, stick around to the end for today's totally true transportation trivia tidbit. I bet you never knew this one. Now, let's get to the news. Well, first, I wanted to take a moment and give you an update on the difficulties in the Red Sea region. Over the past seven months, we've seen attacks on both commercial traffic and military craft. Most recently, Houthi terrorists fired a ballistic missile from within Yemen into an oil tanker controlled by Greek interests. The goal of the Houthi terrorists, of course, has been to disrupt the Red Sea region in an effort to prevent shipping to or from Israel and its allies. This complex situation continues to impact vessel routing across the region, and no timeline for a resolution is in sight. Well, it's for this reason that I wanted to remind you that here at Crane Worldwide Logistics, we've developed some impressive and unique solutions to help you navigate in and around the troubled waters of the world. So make sure that you're getting our free monthly newsletter so that you can stay up to date on all the latest solutions and developments. You can sign up on our website at craneww.com. Now, last Tuesday on May 14th, United States President Joe Biden announced a new wave of tariffs on China. Specific targets of these tariffs include things like electric vehicles, solar panels, and even drones. The tariff percentage increase for most of these goods is 25%, but in some cases, the intensified duties range from a 50% rise on items like semiconductors to a 100% levy on electric vehicles. Well, as you may already be aware, even more rate increases will be coming over the next few years, so we've prepared a list of items and their new tax rate increases, along with many more industry insights over at craneww.com on our Knowledge Center page under Trade Advisories. The latest market updates are coming your way this week, so keep an eye out for the latest marketing information on air, ocean, and ground freight. Well, my next story today focuses on a never-before-seen deluge of damaging weather in Brazil's southern state of Rio Grande do Sul. Torrential rainfall hammered the baked ground, allowing for severe flooding. As of today, some 2 million people have been displaced or have need of aid from the government. Well, as you can imagine, local industries and shipping lanes have all but halted. With roads underwater, bridges washed out, and ports congested, all transportation and shipping modalities have been critically affected. In a statement released by the Rio Grande Port Authority, we've learned that it will be another couple of weeks before cargo can be inspected and damages assessed. As of today's episode, the ports are in fact open and containers are piling up while roads are cleared and routes are re-established. Our amazing team of highly dedicated logistics professionals in Brazil are working with local communities in recovery efforts through our Crane Cares program. Be sure to reach out to your local crane representative today for solutions that involve Brazil and see for yourself how our people, service, and tech set us apart from all the rest. It was once said that April showers bring May flowers, but as we've experienced in recent years, this decade is a bit different. Now it seems as if May showers are causing an onslaught of weather disasters. Areas of China and Taiwan are bracing for the next several days to be very difficult. Powerful wind gusts are predicted to actually cause ocean vessels to go off course, adding time and costs to their cargo. And while we can't do anything about the weather, we can plan ahead and work together as an industry to help keep our world stocked, fed, and supplied. Partnerships really do matter in the world of supply chains. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick spin around the logistics landscape, but now it's time for today's totally true transportation trivia tidbit. Well, back in 2011, it was proposed that the largest aircraft in history would be built by a company called Stratolaunch. Their goal is to air launch spacefaring craft from beneath the wings of, quote, the world's largest operating aircraft. And they've named this huge airplane ROC, spelled R-O-C. And the name of this colossal craft was derived from the famous story in Arabian Nights which featured this giant mythical bird that could carry off pachyderms in its clutches. Just how big of a plane are we talking? Well, Rock's wingspan is 385 feet, making it longer than a football field. Its cargo capacity is a whopping 230,000 kilograms, or 250 tons. The Rock features an always attention attracting dual fuselage design for safer, higher, and faster air carrying capabilities. Well, that'll do it for this episode, my friends. Remember to hit all the buttons that'll help this little show to grow, because when you do, it genuinely makes me smile. So, until next time, my friends, I'll have a hot cup waiting right here for you on the next episode of the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. Goodbye now.